Hi friends, it's Auntie Cuckoo. We are headed into Walmart. Let's go shopping. So I don't know about you, but I always like to go through the garden section when I go to Walmart. Where do you enter your Walmart? I know a lot of people like to park over by the grocery store, but I'm a gardener. And so I always love to see if there's anything new. This chair is definitely new. It's almost like a love seat. It's a small love seat. It has the ottoman. It's just under $400. Oh my goodness, at Walmart, right? But there's a whole bunch of decor I want to walk you guys through and show you things that are new this time in. So this is a really cute little camper. It is ceramic, just under $40. They have out some summer wreaths. They have a lot of Reed Drummond all over the store. It's getting to the point where we could probably call this Pioneer Mart, but she's just a smart businesswoman. She has lots of tabletop decor, but these little front door signs I think are so cute. So they're $22, $21.98. There are four of them to choose from. I love this one in the black because it has a little pot and you could switch out that floral. It just says my happy place. I think that could work year round. They have lots of color out for summer and that's including this sign. Now there's a whole line of this stuff we're going to get to where it's very pastel and bright. I call it 80s. Um, they had a bunch of those welcome signs. They also had a bunch of the houses. I did want to show you, they have kickstands on the back that are metal. Those are again, like I said, $22. I'm not going to lie. There is definitely a need for some organization at my Walmart right now. They have a lot of cute stuff. I love that they did a two sided sign. It's a good size. It's $22. They have a bunch of summer items. So this summer sign it is very reminiscent of the beginning of Joanna Gaines line. And then they have this one in Happy Place. So I know you guys are bright and you can see what's going on in the world around us. I'm curious to hear from you. Will all of this soon be on clearance? Because I think we're just all starting to reprioritize things and think about what we must have, what we don't necessarily need. And I just don't see a lot of this moving. So I'd love to hear what your opinion is, especially when it comes to the whole home decor sect of life. Now, I still like to look because you guys know I'm cheap and I will either wait for it to go on clearance or I will see if I can recreate it on my own. I do think these string lights are cute, though. I got to tell you, those little camper ones are too cute. I'm surprised by some of the prices. Some of them are lower. So this is just under $14. It has a scalloped edge. I think it's a really nice pillow. You could flip it and use it maybe even during Christmas on the backside. But a lot of this is very specific to summer or a really bright aesthetic. And I'm just not sure that this stuff is going to have long wear and tear. And I know that for myself, I like to look for things that will last for pretty much every season. Now I do love these baskets. They come in a few different sizes and colors. They come in the pink. This one's actually navy. I was hoping it was black and they also come in the blue. Those are really fun. They have a lot out for entertaining and they really interestingly mixed a bunch of Pioneer Woman stuff with this summer entertaining stuff. And then they've got a whole other selection of her new stuff in with the kitchen items. So we'll get over there as well. thought this was an interesting price. It's $15, super expensive. And that sign we just looked at it was under eight. So I'm having a hard time making rhyme and reason of some of these prices. I do think this is a really fun wreath. I could definitely see this in a child's room, but it's almost $19. And I think you could DIY that with a few things from the Dollar Tree. Now the balloon stuff, I'm all for. I love to have stuff like that on hand for parties and celebrations. But a lot of this you could DIY on your own. I think this is a really cute idea. It's just a beaded boho sign. They also have some hello hooks in gold for 14. Lots of framed artwork, I guess is what you would call it. And then a party time balloon for seven. That's actually a pretty good price for a balloon that size. So this whole bright line is called packed party. And I thought it was pinky party for some reason. 
It's definitely a new line here at Walmart. I do like these little mini cups. I think these would be great for making some faux desserts. Lots of melamine dishes in bright colors. So this is definitely a new line. If this is your aesthetic, you may want to check them out. They also have some pitchers that come with four cups inside the pitcher for $10. You can get it in the reds and pinks or in the blues. They have dish towels. They have a cutlery clear acrylic tray. I think this one's for napkins and this one's a serving tray. A little bit of gold in there and lots of scallop. So it's a fun line. They even have this that is a little fabric speaker. It is $40. They have lots of cups for 10. Fun little tray. Take a dip. That's really cute. This is actually looking a lot like my son's closet right now. I don't know what has gone on, but feels like all of these bright 80s colors are back in full force for the teens right now. They do have a nice size bowl for $8. Now, I do like these. They are coolers. They have a bunch of different sizes and different types and styles. I really like the bright pink one and the striped one. They're round, just really different and fun. So if you're in the market for a cooler, you may want to check them out. They also have some coordinating towels that are quite oversized. They also have tassel fringe. So fun to look at, not necessarily functional. Now let's head over to the kitchen area where I'm finding all kinds of new things for summer. They have a ton of these drink dispensers and a few different ones to choose from. So they've got the one with the rope handle. They've got this one that is sort of iridescent. Now I am in the market for an ice bucket. So I am eyeballing this. It's under $14 and I do like the look of it. Of course, you guys know my kitchen is white, so I would like it if it was black so it could stand out a little more. They also have beverage containers and little serving trays. Now that one is $11 and does have little individual trays in it. It's another one for some bottled drinks. Down here, they've got some tabletop trays and beverage servers. And all of these wood items want to come home with me, but they just don't fit. Um, yeah, in my budget right now. So they have the cake stands in wood. They have this that I think is beautiful. I hope this goes on sale. It's just beautiful, a nice stand that I could use even for decorating. They have some cutting boards that are oversized, a nice caddy. Now this one does have the handle on it and it is metal for $11. They also have this one that is, I believe the same price and then some basket and woven items. This is a tray. I love baskets that are woven, but I don't love them as trays because things don't really stand on them well. They do have a two tiered stand. It's $20. The top is not super large, but the bottom part is quite big. And then they have this that is amazing, especially if you do a lot of entertaining. It holds plates, napkins, cutlery, and there's space for something else along the back. I'm not quite sure because the napkins actually go on the bottom. All right, now we're going to head over and see what's new from Re. There are some new decor pieces over here. So for $20, she has a home sweet home sign. I do love blueberries and strawberries for summer. She also has this sangria recipe sign for watermelon sangria. That one's 12. And then these that are really cute. They are tins. They could be used as luminaries. They do have handles that are jute rope grow and bloom, then a few freestanding signs, and then this one in Farm Fresh Bakery. Now I've seen a few of her cutting boards, but I haven't seen this one before. So that's definitely new. Seems like things are popping up like this. That is a new print for that salad bowl and tong set. There's also a tic-tac-toe with a cow. That just had me laughing. So many pillows. This is just the tip of the iceberg. They had them overhead as well in boxes. So that's why I'm thinking things are just not moving and people are not buying things. We may be able to pick up these items on clearance. Although I love you, Walmart. You know that I'm always here and my pocketbook shows you that I love you, but um, your clearances are not the best. So I would love if you could compete with Target on your clearance prices Signed, Auntie Cuckoo. Sincerely, Auntie Cuckoo. <laughs> so they also have this really cute little mini croc and some more signs. So that's, yeah, more signs, more options. 
I want to hear from you guys. Are you still into Pioneer Woman? Do you love the change of pace with all the bright colors? Now, of course, they're mixing in some of their mainstays items. So this, I believe, is Pioneer Woman. It's the pedestal. And then they have a whole island. I was actually here for groceries and paint. So I headed back to the paint section where they put out a few islands. Oh, so they've got a set of knives, a three pack of cutting boards with the butterfly and then the blue one and then the larger one in the back. And then they've got this, which is a utensil set. It comes with the can opener. So interestingly, they sell the items individually over here and they're not necessarily cheap. A lot of these items are priced at $9 a piece. And so you might want to look for the sets if you're really into them. There are sets of trivets where you do get two. And I believe that they are both two-sided. So I think you get all of the prints. They also have this, which I actually use one of these. I don't need it to be this cute, but they have it if you want it. They also have this scrubber, which I do think is kind of adorable. Um, but I usually hide mine under my sink. They also have lots of measuring cups to choose from. Seems like there were at least four sets. I did like the daisy set and the little clip was a butterfly, which I did think is pretty cute. And it's the cups with the spoons. So that is kind of a good deal. I also like the knives just because they have the covers. I need those. I'm always cutting myself. They have some really cute decorative scissors and some large melamine serving bowls that I found in three prints. And so there's kind of a print on the outside and then a print on the inside. So maybe I actually found four different prints now that I'm thinking about it. There's also some corn on the cob sets in some bright colors. And in the gardening section, she's got gardening hats. She's got a really cute little caddy. Now I think this was $29.99. It does come with a spritzer, a few tools and the really cute caddy. So I think that's adorable. If it goes on clearance, it might come home with me. This was a really pricey item for just those three tools. It was $26. She's also got some really cute gloves for about 15. This is a fun planter. If you're into cowboy boots, I thought that was really cute. It does have the drainage hole in it, which is so important. Also comes in a pup and in a truck. So lots of options for Marie. I, on my way out, found this and wanted to share it. I thought this was brilliant. It's a watermelon tray that comes with a clear cover. I thought those were fun. Now, I actually own this one in red and I use it all the time. I always like to pick up things like this when I can find them. Things that are durable, that I can use every day, because it seems like during the holidays and Christmas, everything's just really fancy. Now, shout out to all of those of you who, like me, grew up buttering your corn with a piece of bread. Let me know if you did that down below in the comments so I know I'm not alone. And I hope you guys enjoyed this quick trip into Target to just kind of mosey around and lift your spirits. Thank you all, as always, for coming with me, and I'll see you back very soon.